So right now we are uh, close to Philippines. This island is Mindoro. This is our ship's name, Burger Injani. How are you guys doing? I hope you all are safe and healthy. Welcome back to the channel guys and this is a whole new episode of the season. First of all guys, apologies for missing in action for such a long time. Yes, I took a long break for sailing. I was preparing for my chief mate courses and exams. Good news, I have cleared it. I have cleared my chief mate exam. So let's talk about this video. What is this video all about? In this video guys, I will be giving you a full detailed tour of our navigation bridge aka wheelhouse. I will be showing you around what all navigation equipments we have, how we use them for a day to day sailing, what all radio equipments we have, what all communication equipments we have and a brief introduction of all the equipments. Just to make things simpler to you guys to understand, I will correlate the navigation of a ship to a day to day driving of a car. So what all things we perform while driving a car, I will correlate the same to the uh, navigation of a ship. So it will become a little bit simpler for you guys to understand. So guys, uh, when you are about to drive a car, first thing what you do, you take the key of the car, you go unlock the car and you start the ignition. That is you switch on the main engine by a key or a button. We don't have that facility on board. We don't have a key or a button on car. Instead, what we have to control the ship's main engine is this this over here guys is the main engine telegraph control this is the main engine control system and this is the main engine telegraph how we use it is the lever over here this lever once we press the switch buttons we can move the lever across so what all things we have in this panel is all these marked red are the astern movements that is propulsion of ship behind or rear all these marks in black are the ahead moves. What RPM exactly main engine is running on, what is the starting air pressure, few controls over here and few alarm display system. So this hole over here guys is the main engine diagraph system or you can say this is the main engine controller of the ship. So once you start the engines of your car, the next thing you do is take over the wheel control. This over here guys is our steering console or autopilot system. You can see this is the main steering of the ship. Right now the vessel is running on autopilot. The selection switch is on auto. Okay now this whole thing, this over here guys, this console is the steering system incorporated with our autopilot. So autopilot is also inside this system. This is our main steering and down we have our gyro compass. So what is gyro compass? Gyro compass is the main direction finding equipment on board ship. What equipment we use for our position finding. So this is the equipment which gives our position. This is the DGPS, Differential Global Positioning System. It will give our current position in coordinates of latitude and longitude. We have total of two GPS on board. This is the main unit, one backup unit we have at the behind. So this is our main uh, position finding equipment on board. This GPS equipment, it gives the coordinates to our various equipment such as EGDIS, radar, uh, VHF, all the equipments, they take the ship's position or the current position from GPS. Okay guys, this is our EGDIS, also known as electronic chart display information system. As you can see, uh, this is an electronic chart display system. We have charts for mostly all over the world or to the voyage which we are going to or which the ship is going to the so as you can see uh, we are over here so this is our current route vessel will be following this route we are near to the coast of philippines so this is ecdis which we use for our voyage planning so our voyage uh, started from australia we departed from australian port known as dampier so from Dampier going towards Indian Ocean and then upwards coming to the uh, coast of Philippines, South China Sea and then we are going to Chinese port. 
so this equipment basically guys we are using for our voyage planning uh, we have electronic charts for uh, various ports once our voyage is confirmed then second officer who is the in charge of navig uh, who is in charge of this voyage planning he will make a course or he will make a voyage plan then he will uh, discuss with captain and other officers as well and that's how we proceed with our navigation plan so basically this equipment is used for our voyage planning and also monitoring our voyage so right now see if you want to see what exactly or exactly where we are how we have to navigate so this is so this equipment helps us see right now our ship position is over here we have to proceed like this this is our uh, planned route okay now we have already made our uh, voyage plan we are now navigating into the deep ocean how we go about collision avoidance what equipment we use for collision avoidance so this is guys is a radar so this this equipment guys mostly this is the equipment which we use for collision avoidance this equipment has an arpa inbuilt which calculates that uh, what is the approach of our vessel and what is the approach of a target vessel and it will calculate and give us how we are going to pass clear of the vessel so as you can see we are proceeding from over here these are the details of target target number 20 which is close to our port side so all these details we can get from radar okay now i will start from here showing you around what all equipments we have so this over here guys is the port side panel we have certain controls over here this control is for fire and gs pump and guys is the vdr voice data recorder you, you can correlate this vdr with the black box of an aircraft this records all the voice details this one is navigation light control panel all the navigation light which we use on board which we have for our vessel we can operate it from here you can switch on and off and this is the christmas tree or signal light panel this over here guys is the banwas or bridge navigation watch alarm system this have a timer of 12 minutes so every after every 12 minutes it, it will give us a visual alarm and an audible alarm this over here guys is the outside lamp control panel or outside light control panel these all are the switches for our main deck we have uh, two intercom telephone this is a normal telephone and this is the sound powered telephone in case normal telephone is malfunctioning it is not working we can use the sound power telephone this is an emergency telephone this is our public announcement system if you want to make any announcement to uh, to the general areas this is the equipment which we use to perform it over here guys this is the alarm system if you want to raise a alarm let's say if you want to raise a abandoned ship alarm or we want to raise a fire alarm this is the operating switch for the same over here guys these are the dimmers for various equipments and various console panels we have on bridge these are the dimmers over here guys we have a few display panel of navigation equipment this is our enemy meter or uh, wind indicator system remote indicator this shows us from where we right now from where we are having uh, we are encountering the wind its speed and its direction this is our main engine speed indicator over here guys this is our ais or known as automatic identification system this broadcast the safety or voyage related data of our ship to the other ships main vessel this is the vessel controller if we want to blow the ship's whistle we can control it from here we can operate it from here or we can also operate it from here this is known as fox signal control panel so we can operate the main vessel from here. now let's see what all equipments we have in the chart room let's start from here this over here guys is navtex it is a it gives us some it gives us the maritime safety information this is our gps number 2 this over here guys is our cctv uh, control system this is echo sounder right now it switched off but what is the use of this equipment is it will show us how much the clearance we have underneath our ship that means under keel clearance or you can say what is the depth of the water uh, underneath okay now this is the speed log or you can say the speed measuring equipment of ship here we have our log books so all the daily activity of the ship we log it down this is our deck log book as you can see it is filled by the navigating officer of the respective watch 
Okay, now these three things, these orange uh, things, these are portable GM races walkie talkie. So in case if we have to abandon the ship, these are the emergency walkie talkie we are going to take with us to the lifeboat. The water ingress alarm panel. So uh, this vessel is a bulk carrier. We have different different cargo holds. If there, in case there is any ingress water, accidental water ingress in any cargo hold, so we will get an alarm in this panel. Uh, main fire alarm panel. In case we have any fire alarm in any space on board a ship, we have all the list of the spaces. We will get a notification over here. We will know the lo we, uh, the name of the location will be displayed on this panel and we can find out exactly where the fire is. Okay, now this over here is our GM Races equipment control panel. We have MRSHC, we have MFHF and NBDP. So what is the use of these equipment guys? So these basically these are our communication equipment. This is our radio communication and this is our satellite communication equipment. These equipments can be used for safety or routine communication and also most important for distress sending equipment. As you can see over here there is a red button named distress. Similar button we have here on MFHS also. If in case the vessel is in distress, we have a fire on board or we are abandoning or any kind of distress situation we have on board, we can trigger a distress alert with the help of this button or with the help of this equipment. So what we all have to do is just open the hinge cover, press the distress button for three seconds and then distress alert will be sent to all the co station and the ships nearby. Okay, now this is our main uh, ship's clock control panel. As you can see we have the time, UTC time and the local time over here. In case the vessel is going to some different time zone, so we can uh, change the ship's time with the help of this. This is the view guys from the ship's wheelhouse or you can say the conning station or ship's cock. This is the center line of the ship, the steering console or the steering uh, autopilot and the steering console is situated at the center line of the ship. So as you can see over here, this is our main bridge front. So when you go out, I'll show you uh, the view from bridge wings, that is from the port side and starboard side. Let's go outside guys to the starboard side bridge wing. So this one is our gyro compass repeater of the starboard side. Check out the view guys. Oh, beautiful skyline and clouds. So right now we are uh, close to Philippines. This island is Mindoro. Port side bridge wing, it's a little bit sunny. Uh, Still okay. So this is our gyro compass repeater of the port side. These are the search lights. There is one search light over here. That's all for now in this video guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our navigation bridge. If so, please hit like share the video and please do subscribe the channel i'll see you in the next episode till then be safe and take good care of yourself